Hello to everyone, but I have to like want to hello uh, everyone, but I have to like want to please with me. Yeah. Uh, okay. I have to share this out just a bit. Um, copy link. Share to the group. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Again, yeah, I cannot find my own <laughs> metaphysics page. My own Facebook page, I cannot find it. Oh, have fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, can live stream in stream uh, in Telegram too, but I think Facebook Live is better in any way. Hi, Mary. <clears throat> How is everyone doing? Yeah. So, welcome. Well, today I'm just going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, starting of a class. Yeah, I cannot find it too, but maybe I can share to the page. Even the share button is not coming up. <laughs> so let me do another uh, perspective here so that I can um, share to my own page because it seems like I can't, I can't really uh, Share it out. Yeah, I can't really share it out. So I have to change my uh, chart. But welcome to everybody who joined this. Um, first part of class. So I'm going to talk a little bit more, a little bit very basic here uh, before we start the class. Um, because I just want to give you guys a perspective of what this Barter is. Now, everybody know what this Barter is. Or not? Do you want the concept for uh, the meaning behind of it rather than just having the understanding of Barter? Oh, hi, Peggy. Oh, Peggy is here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to give you the perspective of my own. Uh, it's not really a traditional method. Uh, I'm going to tell you something a little bit more different, like usual. I like to give new ideas on metaphysics because uh, whatever we learn is somebody's perspective too. <laughs> if you if you understand what I'm trying to say, yeah. Okay. Um, as a disclaimer, and the first for you, as a disclaimer, I need to tell you guys that this is not like the usual budget class that you're going to go for. I'm going to give you guys something, uh, a new perspective in my own way. And I like to talk about the uh, heaven, earth, and men's realm, which is the fourth realm. Because um, whatever you learn, the fourth realm actually the most important thing in, in metaphysics tools. Okay? It's actually the most important thing in metaphysics tools. And it seems like because the person who learned want to have a little bit more, uh, let's just say, uh, practical things, easy to apply, doesn't want to bring damage about anything, right? But when we, you know, just forget about the basic things before we learn metaphysics, sometimes it just went a little bit more harder to learn and harder to apply. Even if people give you a practical move, you can't really shift it. So then you become a very big problem if uh, you're learning this in any way that you are learning. Yeah. So I'm just going to give you. So let's start this. But before that, I just need to everyone know. Uh, hi, William. I just want to know, I want to ask everybody that, you know, you guys really know what is Barter. No? In what perspective Barter is? You guys, do you guys know that there's many different destiny reading uh, according to metaphysic tools? 
even that Feng Shui have a part of destiny reading. I hope you guys know that. Yeah? So let's just talk a little bit about these different schools of thoughts because um, <clears throat> we actually ignore the basic things and we don't really know what to apply. So I categorize them. I basically categorize them, but you will find that more or less the things that I talk about is actually applicable in just the butter side. <clears throat> yeah. So in the destiny uh, reading, okay, destiny reading, basically we have, um, you know, destiny reading we have from different perspectives. Butter is just one of it. And then you have the way. Okay. This one, Totally, I never studied this before. Totally never go into that, yeah? I just know that it's about stars and auxiliary stars, yeah? And then we have the achievement perspective. And then we also have what we call the life qua perspective. Yeah? This one, hardly people talking about this, uh, the life qua one, but um, more or less, I think some also know about this, but it is on different perspective and level to read. Yeah. So I'm going to categorize this. Okay. So life gua is basically indicates opportunities. Okay. What kind of opportunities you have? Uh, I will also add on another meaning of this. This is related to the terrain where you can actually apply for the opportunities. So if you like, you go and take out all the successful person chart, of course, there's no easy things in here. Yeah? Nothing in uh, reading. Reading is just telling you where is it that you can come from and what kind of things that you can actually get. But it doesn't mean that you sit at home and then you can get everything. There's a totally wrong perceptions. Yeah, but by understanding where is the path that you can go to uh, is way better that you're doing the wrong thing right now. Doing the wrong thing. Later I tell you what is the problem doing the wrong thing. Yeah? Achievement is, uh, in the layman term, is your decisions making skill. So in, in one of thoughts that um, it related to your subconscious mind, okay? So subconscious mind sounds like a little bit more sophisticated, right? Uh, let's just say you use it as unconscious reactions. So treatment actually gives you the perspective that whatever that is happening in your life, you will make certain decisions on a very unconscious way that you never thought that you were being, you know, have an alignment of energy that tell you to be more into that side of life. Okay, achievement destiny reading. Yeah, and then part of part is what was given to you. What is given to you? Given to you indicates um, you were born with something. You are being programmed with something. Okay, and your programming will go through different stages of evolutions. Okay, parts actually give you that uh, uh, the stuff to do. That um, I think most of the people just think that okay, just read the chart, and uh, I'm good with this, and then uh, let's just go with it, and I will be good in whatever I'm doing. I'm going to be very nice, having good wealth, good health, good relationship. Um, most likely is a wrong way of thinking. Okay, why am I telling you that? Is because that your chart was given a talent. Your child was given something that is already programmed to you. And because of that programming, you will either execute it on a good side or you will either execute it on a bad side. Imagine that the same thing happening to you and you're going to only take it as a negative side of your life and you're never going to change that. Yeah? Because why is it that I will give this kind of different perspective? Is when you dig people chart, when you go and find people's successful chart, you will find that um, 
all these three, to make a very successful person, they are very aligned. Their element is very aligned. That means that what was given on Batu, my skill set, my talent, or my, you know, the repeated cycle of my, of my life is aligned with my achievement, destiny chart abilities in the decisions making skill. And then it also aligned with the life qua that I had where opportunities was given or the terrain that was given. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you about the part that is about the uh, the survey because I totally don't know what the survey is about. <clears throat> okay. I totally tell you that I, I don't study survey. Yeah. Because uh, I finally, I don't know. I just don't have the affinity to go and study that. That's one point. Yeah? Okay. So in this three, this is what happened to your chart. So if you are learning in metaphysics, I will always encourage you to go and do some case studies. Go and case studies. Plot successful people chart, especially a uh, Westerner. Why is it Westerner is a good one? Because Westerner, they are, they are part of exology, they dig out their hour of birth. Without the hour of birth, you will not able to find out what is it on this uh, the achievement destiny chart, right? And the life core parts, of course, is very hard for you to understand that. Just take it as flying stars. Just take it as a flying stars. The easiest layman term to use the life core, just take it as flying star. What you know in flying stars and what kind of opportunity the flying star has will then be applied to the life core itself. Okay? But this particular topic is actually about uh, the battle. I'm not going to talk about this too. I'm just giving you as a heads up so that when you study their, their achievement chart, when they are, you study their chart, because you if you use DJY uh, plotting the, the normal plotters, you will then realize that all the information was inside. Okay, all the information was inside. So I can also pose it up to you guys so that you guys can have a look of it. Where is it that uh, the chart is and um, how that you can actually find it and understand where do you need to get it. Of course, the plotting, I think everybody already know the, uh, the website. Do I need to give you guys the website? I think everybody do have already have the concept of the, the website, right? I don't need to give you the website, right? Yeah. So this is the your native part chart, your life quad chart, and also that your achievement destiny chart. Okay, so when you plot people chart, there is only the three things that you might want to see. Are they aligned with each other's or not? Most likely you find those that change the world. Change the world means they make a very big impact to the world. Most likely their chart is aligned. There's an interesting part. Okay, there's a very interesting part. Now, why is it that I have to tell you this? Because it represents different category. Okay, like I said just now at the beginning, I like to say about the heaven, earth, and man's realm. Okay, whatever that was programmed, yeah, is actually related to heaven realm. Whatever that you make decisions, it related to the uh the the men's realm. Yeah, because this is highly related to the outcome that you are seeking in your achievement chart. That one you have to learn about achievement class, yeah. And this one related to the earth realm, where the terrain that you was actually more aligned to it. Yeah, more aligned to it. So in Chiman, we have another hidden realm, which is the deities, the spirit realm. Yeah, and that is more into faith, belief, or, you know, just some points that you have a better uh, belief in something is going to happen with life. Okay, and really, really powerful. I can tell you that if you go and dig people chart like this, you'll find out that why is it they make decisions in that way? and make a very good leader out of it. Yeah, make a very good leader out of it. <clears throat> now, because of explaining this, 
I have to start from the bottom part of everything. Yeah, I actually have to start in the bottom part of everything that uh, to explain what is it that parser actually means. Programming. I like to use this word programming because parser is highly related to early heaven. Okay. If some of you guys don't know what is early heaven, early heaven related to programming, related to uh, nature force, or what we actually have about the energy flow, it's all about early heaven. So something was given to you as a flow of energy that uh, <laughs> it just get you to have that kind of event to happen or the talent that you can do and you can actually upskill it when you have that one kind of energy that was always given to you. So it doesn't mean that your chart, like because that's the reading, we're always talking about bad chart, good chart, right? Um, in the olden days, uh, they only liked the combinations chart. That is called the good chart. The not good chart is have many bad interactions, which is the harm, the clash, the disruptions, Right? Is there some sort of animal sign? I hope that you are following me long enough until the part that I'm going to talk about the clashes and harm. Yeah? Because this is just the beginning of the butter class. Okay? So this early heaven, the programming that was given to you is not fixated. This is what the misconceptions of uh, a lot of people in, uh, in butter reading. Misconception, my opinion again, because when I say like this, right, somebody is going to talk back about me. Yeah, it's just a misconception that I realize that um, not everyone is going to have a very bad situation in their life. Whatever that you're going to do is based on how you manage the situations. The event is going to happen, but the impact is going to be different to you. Yeah, what is why am I telling that? Because in one day, in the same hour of birthday chart, there might be thousands of people they are actually on the same chart. So when you're on the same chart, everybody was given the same energy flow, but not a fixated event that is going to be given to them. Not a fixated event. Fixated means that. Okay, you're going to, you know, die in this time and hour or days. You're going to die at that hour. Yeah? And uh, this is called fixated. So there's a wrong perception there. It will tell you that you have a very bad clash or a very bad situation is going to happen at that time. But where is it that you want to align to? It depends on you. Okay? This is what the energy flow is and what you need, need to know is the alignment of this energy. Where does it go? Okay? Not always is going to your health. Not always is going to all your relationship. Of course, the chart have indications that are um, related to relationship or health because one part of the chart basically can be almost everything in your life. It's just a star there that tell you that the energy flow is going to have some issue between these two pillars that cause a big thing is going to happen to you. Okay? A big thing doesn't mean it's going to be bad. This is the, the thing that it will no ways not going to be bad. Remember, again, I'm going to tell you you maybe have 10,000 of people is actually, you know, on birth on the same birthday hour. Okay. Just one singular, you know, uh, you know, state's delivery, right? You might have around five to five to five babies going to born on the same hour. One state. Okay. You have got how many states of your country? Then other country, right? Everybody is on the same birthday hour. What is the difference with them? is the alignment of the actions and the event they are going into in a different way that brings different result and effect. Yeah? If you, if you know who I am, 
I think I have shown my chart before. I have three pillar clashes. Does my event sound bad? Yes, it sounds bad. But this does it the event bad for me? I don't think so. When you look back, maybe it looks bad. But for me at that time of moment is freedom. So it's not always is a bad thing. And um, what am I telling you this? Because I have to explain that this is an energy flow and it tells you that certain event of this flow is going to clash with each other. And where is it that you want to align to? Is it like uh, related to your health, related to your relationship? How that you know where it will go through? When you are most concerned situations, what is it that you care the most? What is the most important thing in that period of time for you? The most important thing. So when you have, like, when I say that, that means that if that year have a clash to you and it's related to your, you know, career and wealth, then focus on the things that need changes, that need some bad thing to happen or, you know, you want it to come up in a different perspective then you put the importance, your energy flow, your intentions, your attentions to that side of it. Yeah? If not, it's going to be like you activate it on a very bad way. Yeah? Most of the time, you activate it on a very bad way and you don't want it to happen. Okay? So, hi. Hi, Tiara. Hi, Lei. Hi, Mabel. Yeah? So, that is why in Barter class, the first thing is to understand the concept. If you don't understand the concept, the background of it, the basic of it, right? Then you will never know what is going to happen. Hi, Karen. And of course, there is also another part of this to build up your perspective in life. And because I was saying that the poll that I made, right? Barter for actions. Everybody looking to barter for actions. And um, I also put another part of it, which is the, um, you know, the wisdom behind Pazi. Okay, wisdom behind Pazi. It's not just about what is going to happen to you. And that particular event is supposed to tell you a flow of life. Now, this flow of life does not mean only apply to you. It also can mean it can be repeatable in other perspective of your life. Not every time that a bad history is a bad history. It actually has something for you to learn from it. And by learning parts, by going through your chart, or even that you become a master level, all this flow of life in parts can tell you a stories that it can become a strategies, a tactics of life. Okay, and then there's one person that I really like the most uh, is, uh, I think my barter class also mentioned this name, this the Magnus Carlsen. It's a chess player, the world championship chess player. And um, when you look into his chart, he has what I call the self-punishment of pick. Yeah, and he utilized that self-punishment in a very... Uh, extreme level that is going to use it as an advantage on his, you know, chess playing. Yeah. So every time that he lost a match or a competition with somebody, he will go back and self-punish himself in a good way to build strategy, to build critical thinking or fast thinking or fast actions in his chess playing. Yeah, and he can actually really self-punish himself like 24 hours after he lost a match. Imagine that, that you have a superpower that you don't know. Without you going to understand other people's successful chart, you will never know that other person have a stories to tell. Okay, even though it might not be what you think it is, but based on their, his history and his actions, you can then realign or you know, relate to his own chart, which is why uh, I say when parts for wisdom, you're not learning your own chart. You're learning different perspective of life. 
different things is going to happen. And because of different things, you add on wisdom to your own. Okay, this is what I say. Use parser to teach you back what parser is really mean. Yeah, so which is this is why I have to get you have the concept. Yeah, hi Sharon, hi Jimmy, hi Amy, welcome. Okay, I hope this gave you a perspective to this. Okay, now there is something also that uh I want to edit on here. I like to talk about this fourth realm. Yeah, I really, really like to talk about this fourth realm because this fourth realm uh, is the biggest changes in life that we can actually adopt, we change. A lot of stories behind this fourth realm that is very important. Okay, I later I will tell you where is it that this fourth realm actually come from. Yeah, in life, <clears throat> We always have different category of actions that we like to do. Some of it that is only aligned to us. Some of it that is aligned to the other parties, right? And um, what I mean by that. So it means that this is either your mindset or an actions base that you like to do, or there is always a result that you're aiming for in life. Yeah, and then you will have a belief system. Okay, this is a belief system. Yeah, so in in Pata or in Chiman or even in Feng Shui, we cannot run away from this fourth realm. Means that we cannot, you know, abandon this theory because this is like the framework for everything in metaphysics. If you cannot change one part of it, you change the other part. That means that if you have problem, you just need to apply one of them and you will can get a result that you wanted. Just apply one of them. Even in manifestations, yeah, in manifestations, most likely we use to manifest and meditate our belief in something. So in part, we will also have that kind of of rules or framework that you can actually add it on. Most of the time, we just talk about, you know, your child have clashed in this, but what is it that is in the end of it? What is the result in the ending of it? Yeah. And normal way of part reading, they only look into what we, what we say, an outcome of your part chart. Most likely, yeah, in whatever that you are actually... Uh, you know, you're learning, you're, you're getting on, some people reading the chart. We always care about the outcome. It's the only thing that we care. And look into the chart and everybody just looking into the outcome. Yeah? But <clears throat> when the outcome is like that, that means you did something with it, which is, means that you have a certain actions with that. And then you put in, of course, because of certain event happened, you think that that is, you know, the, the, the solution for it or the right path for it to do that. Yeah. And because of that, it leads into a bad outcome. It leads into the actions that you're going to take. It will lead into the result that you will get. Yeah. And then, of course, in the end, before you do something, there will be a belief that you think that is the right thing to do. Yeah, so all this fourth realm is actually applied in your clashes, in your combinations, yeah, in your day stem, your day master, one of the stem, one of the bad interactions. It will all come into this. Yeah, and for you to change that, that particular outcome, that's mean you have to take a little bit of different perspective at a moment of time. Yeah, and the outcome totally will become different. Yeah, because the outcome, I think people like to use, this is what was given to you. Okay, but what was given of the programming is actually come from all this part. Not just the outcome. It gives you all of this together to make the alignment. Yeah, and 
Why is it you are fixated in the, the issue you have? Why is it you are fixated with the problem that you have right now? Because you cannot get out from it. Okay? And you don't understand that. <clears throat> you don't have awareness of it. You are not conscious that the same thing is going to happen again and again. Then you will never be able to get out from your problem. So this is the first thing in parser for actions. Yeah? It's an actions base. If you want to do something, that's why uh, when you're learning about this, it's always back to the thing what we call cause and effect. Okay? The effect was given you or the cause was given to you by Barter, but are you conscious with it or not? The best and best successful in Barter usage, yeah, the best successful person, not Barter usage, they are very good in awareness, yeah, they are aware of what they are doing, what is their problem is, how high they are conscious in when something is going to happen. You always go back to that, huh? Okay, it always, always go back to that. Okay, and when you learn Pata, this is the first thing. This is a framework. Always, always remember that this framework. I call it a framework because it was very important. Just one part of it. You just need to change one part of it, not every single part. Just one part of it, you will change the outcome of an event that was meant to happen to you. Okay, can see from part reading and unable to enjoy it. Of course, something like that is going to happen. Okay, like give uh, let's just give you an example. Yeah, let's just give you an example. So um recently I was um this is another perspective, but it's actually using the same way. Uh I was actually doing a case study in my Feng Shui class about a place when there's a lot of people uh, suicide, okay? In Ipoh, there's a place where um, there's a building on an apartment, I don't want to tell you where, uh, that a lot, of time, a lot of people at that period of time, suicide, yeah? And what is it that can happen in that way? All the feng shui perspective to that locations were supposed to bring the utmost effect of artistics and expressions and all these uh, period seven stuff, which is more into singing, more into, you know, good voice and stuff, expressing artistic way, how once somebody expressing the, 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 uh, themselves. But that particular building have one big issue. Every opportunity the surrounding was supporting the building to exert those highly expert and intelligent person. Yeah, highly expert and intelligent person in artistic way. But the person at that side, uh, the building have a very big river at the back that caused a person misalignment of thinking. The mindset part. Okay, not always the good thing give to you is a good thing. It can turn out to be a bad thing. So the more that it was given, actually given to you, the more that you cannot express it out, it became a depression mode because you cannot express. Yeah? So not every time is a good thing. Yeah? This particular month, I think I mentioned in my telegram, I tell some of you guys that you have yeet wood in your chart, you have to be very careful. Especially it's the lowest, um, it's actually the lowest element in your chart. You have to be very careful because in this particular month, it kills yeet wood. Directly kills the yeet wood. And if you have like yeet wood in your chart, right? Then you will realize that, um, what is the, the sickness with yeet wood? Okay, actually, it would represent connections with people, networking with people. In body part, it represents your wings. Yeah, 
your uh you know your blood wins your your what they call it, uh your bloodstream, the place that let the blood flow, right? And it was very weak. So when you get overexcited, is what element? It's a fire element. You get overexcited. And because of that, you snap. I call it snap. I call it the energy actually broke off. It was so much that it caused something wrong with that yeet wood. So having yeet wood, it actually indicates wind problems, um, your liver problems, right? It represents the wings, the how they call it? I forgot the names. Huh? I think it's a blood flow, something like that. The winds. It's not that. So, stroke easily to happen. Heart attack easily to happen. Uh, I think there's one, uh, I don't know what they call the, um, your winds actually broke. I think stroke is a higher chances. Yeah. So, everything was given to you and you align with the energy. What is going to happen to you? What's going to happen to you if you align with the energy? Spleen? Not really the spleen. Spleen is the uh, the one that actually the cleaning the blood, right? The creating the blood. Yeah. But the wind is uh, the flow of the blood. Okay. There's uh, the place for the blood, uh, the blood flow, uh, which caused a big issue. Snap. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go back to this. So... Before we start anything, there's another story that I have to tell you. Because programming comes from with different perspective. So this fourth realm is not just fourth realm. There's many interactions with this fourth realm that tell you parcel and what is it that you actually need to align for. Like just on the case, right? Your wings actually snap, you have a uh, break, your 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 become stroke at that moment of time, you have heart attack. It's because you align to the energy that was meant at that moment of time. Now, of course, we all don't know that person chart. We all don't know that person chart. Now. I'm just giving you a perspective that if you have issue like that in this month, you have to be very careful. Don't get overexcited. Don't try to, uh, you know, go out too much because yin wood also represent by the rabbit. Rabbit is also represented by high changes and vibrations. Yeah. And because of that, uh, it also indicates thunder trigram. Thunder indicates a loud voice. That means argument in this particular month will be even higher. And because of the clashes happen between the rooster, rooster relate back to the Tuikwa. It also related to argument and also the ability to express. So this particular man have a high chances of two people arguing with each other or you get overexcited with something that something snap, especially in networking, uh, your body wings, your, your, your spines and everything actually related. So you have to be very careful that the energy flow was given in that way. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Yeah? The energy flow was actually given in that way. Now, so of course, when study about parts, uh, one thing that I want you guys to really imagine is a painting of a chart. I always come across with this way of reading because this way is more easier to understand your chart. Okay? If your element is higher in your particular profile, that indicates that that element that represents the element is a very big portion inside your painting. Okay, a very big portion. So why is it that we look into Day Master as a reading of its own attribute? But we also need to know that whether that this Day Master is weak or strong. Most of the time we have to go into that, right? And the way to look at it is because if you're in a chart, in your painting, and you're very weak in a painting. Weak means your fire element, and then your man pillar is actually a water element. So your painting will look like you are actually in a sea, 
and then you have you are just a tiny little fire uh, fire inside the painting. That's why whatever that you're going to do in your life, you look like that particular fire. Keep on get problem. The weather is killing you. The situation is killing you. The environment is killing you. And then because of that, your life become very hard. Okay, your life become very hard, and everything seems to going to kill you in every possible way. Now it's very less that the chart can become very very weak, very less. The chart can be become very very weak. But if you have a chart like that, and some more, your chart like let's just say this is being fire. Yeah, later you guys will learn about it. I'll just give you a perspective on part two reading. You're a pink fire and you have a zinc metal beside you. This is called a combinations. Okay, this is called a combinations. These combinations will kill off the pink fire. I say kill off. It's actually in English, it's called depleting the fire element in the chart. Or it actually, when both of the parents, you know, have a baby, when the baby come out, both of the parents will be abundant. So the entire energy will be depleted. So when the energy being depleted, yeah, then it will actually what I call kill off. This is a very dangerous kind of chart. It's either that you lose yourself. Lose yourself means you will sacrifice yourself for something. Okay? You will actually sacrifice yourself for something and because of that, because of that sacrifice, you then, you're not yourself anymore in the chart. Yeah? It actually is a very bad situation because um, this is a chart where it's actually killed the day master. And any event, any energy flow that come in, it will take away the day master. That means something bad is going to happen and it take away the day master. Yeah? That means no more day master, no more master in the chart, you are actually being killed off from this universe itself. That's why I use the word kill off. I like to use the word kill off, yeah, because this is totally like really take you away. And I saw a lot of chart like that. Okay, I saw a lot of chart like that, which is why I say it's an energy flow. If you don't take care of this same metal, you are okay. The more that you are aligned with taking care of the sin metal combined with the sin metal, then you will be taking off away from this universe. Okay? Or from this world. Yeah? And which is a very important thing to understand. If one element can become like that, then every single element in your chart can have that representation. Yeah, have can you have that representation? And this is how Batu reading in a summary way to read. Yeah, summary way to read. And what is the strongest element in your chart? Represent the highest ability you have. That's why in your painting, the most dominant energy, the biggest one that like cover up the entire painting, this is basically your skill, your, at, your attitude, yeah, your, op your opportunity, something keep on repeating to you, yeah, and something that is you are easily do, okay, and also represent the most important person in your chart. So if you learn butter, the best way to start is to look into a painting uh, perspective. And which element, which kind of pillar represent the biggest element flow? Okay, biggest element flow. So you can look into your chart. The biggest element in your chart is the, the most dominant energy flow inside your chart. But does it is it good or not? And that is a different perspective. Is it good or not? Is a different perspective. If this big element in your chart is good or bad. We're still not sure until that we can actually deep dive into it. Remember that I have a Facebook Live before, uh, I think two weeks ago, 
I talk about prosperous element. If your element, the biggest element, can only absorb and cannot produce, then you don't know how to execute. You only can know how to learn something. It's not always a good thing. Eh? And the bigger it is, the more easy it returns negative. Yeah, because when one element is too abundant in your chart, other element will be killed off. Okay? I'm just using a five element perspective in uh, battle reading. And if you look in your chart, you will find that it's easier to read and it's more accurate that way. When an element is too strong and other element is too weak, it will kill off other element. That indicates what? Because the 10 stand and the 10 god represent your full of your full uh you know um attitude and behavior and executions and abilities is all represented by that. If your chart missing one of them right now and some of the element is being killed off, then what does that actually that mean? That indicates that that you're unable to perform that task no matter where you are. Okay? That you cannot perform any of that task no matter where you are, when you want to do it, what to do with it. Okay? So the painting is like the very important things. You get yourself, look into your chart, what is the most dominant one and what is the most weakest one and where is it that the missing one? The missing one indicates that you totally have no chance to do it. Okay, so what does that mean? Yeah, if it's not appear in your chart, what does it actually mean? It means that you don't have that energy flow given to you in any due time, yeah, uh, in any of the moment of your life. You you just don't seem to have that opportunity or luck to perform that part. Okay. Without the ability to do so, you will never get familiar with it or execute it. It's just like you cannot learn something. You cannot like something you're just not able to uh, understand it. Yeah? Like me, I have uh, zero eating God, <clears throat> zero hurting officer. Hurting officer zero is not supposed to do Facebook Live. Yeah? Okay. Ideally, I activate the energy on that particular year, because that year I have hitting officer. Okay, and I have no eating god. Yeah, and as you guys know, hurting officer and eating god is the two uh, elements that related to playing, you know, uh, play with music, learn music. There's the only two elements, yeah. And this is the things that I have been learning for quite a long time, and I had never been able to understand. Just what is this notes is? What level is this? Uh, the key notes for this is what? I totally cannot get it. Yeah, other people can play with it and they understand the key notes very easy. Oh, this is C notes. This is B notes, right? But for me, I've learned for quite a long time. I only know how to follow other people's rules, like the step-by-step -step way, how to play the guitars. That's the only thing I can, I can do. If you ask me to create the music, Sorry, because the keynotes might cannot be identified. I don't even understand how which is the notes is. Totally cannot align with it. That is when you have missing element. Okay, and if you have the weakest element and it being killed off during certain love pillar or certain annual pillar, right? Then that particular skill maybe is hard to learn, easy to be forget. Okay, even the luck will also be like that. Even the people will also be like that. Re imagine it was your, uh, it was your, you know, your wife stars, your spouse stars, your children stars, your parents stars. If it will be clash away in a chart, then the element will go off. It will go missing. It will lose your affinity at that moment of time. Yeah. Even that if you have missing element, 
and suddenly there is the you know the incoming of the energy which is coming from the year energy or coming from the luck pillar energy only at that moment of time you have that flow and based on that particular time you must activate it it's like your painting suddenly an element come in that you don't have and this is the only time you have to capture this memory inside your painting so that you gain certain awareness abilities and insight or even the people that you were supposed to met you know some of you guys chart like nobleman is not in a chart the nobleman star is not in a chart and only that particular year the nobleman come in it's time to grab him you know if you don't do that then the element will go particularly missing okay how to mitigate? So in, of course, it part of a lot of uh, different mitigations part. A lot, a lot of different mitigations. Yeah? It's either that you don't care about the sea metal, don't do the tank god of sea metal. Yeah? Because it's side by side, yeah? I tell you, don't do it. It's an awareness. It's a change of perspective and change of belief. In your life, when the combinations is just side by side on the chart, <laughs> most likely you care too much. Most likely you care too much because it's beside you. You will go and take care of it because this is the element for you. You're going to love this element so much that you will forget yourself. Okay? That is why mitigations can come a lot of way. Okay? Combinations. Not supposed to be bad, right? I know some of you guys think that combinations are not supposed to be bad. But I can tell you it's not in that way. Okay, whatever the people give you, yes, the interactions was good, but it doesn't mean that it's good for your child. Okay, it can mean something that you willingly to do because it's a combination. It doesn't mean that it's good for you. Okay, doesn't mean it's actually good for you. So I like to say this uh, in the recent uh, butter class, I would tell people that having clash chart. Having problematic chart is better than having a full combination chart. And I know that some of you guys will be like, totally not agree with that because a lot of you learn different perspective. I know that. Yeah. But I can tell you directly in the current world, changes is good than having everything smooth sailing. Having everything smooth sailing, okay, one day the clashes will come and you cannot accept the clashes. And that will become like a bad, bad situation. That one single event, take the whole part of you from your life. And then you're feeling not good with it. And then you try to, you know, put in more effort for that bad result to keep on repeating. Okay? Where do I start? Do you learn something here? Have you guys learned something? I like to talk about this painting. Yeah? So when uh, later on, when whatever that we are going to talk about, I'm going to only talk about the painting itself with the puzzle because the painting reflects everything in your chart. Okay? Now, any questions that you guys want to tell me? I uh, want to ask, tell me. Any questions? Yeah? Nobody have anything to ask? I hope this beginning tell you the perspective because we can't just jump in and learn about it. Uh, after they give you this, of course, the fourth realm that the actions that I talked about just now was actually to let you guys know that um, just change one part of your actions right now. Okay? Maybe change your belief because most of us have... You know, we are, we are good in some things. We are good in one of them. But we're not able to align every single one of them. We are good in one of them. We go and take that as an action. Okay, as a, something that you have a next step for it. It's either that you change the result that you wanted or you repeat an action to do something. Okay, to, to take an action to do something. 
yeah, that give you the result or you plan your strategies. You know that this is something that you need to do. Just give me in your mind. Yeah, give me in your mind that this is the strategies that I want. These are things, this is the path that I want to walk. This is a mindset that I need to adopt in whatever situations this is. Yeah, and then you're able to change. If this is like change your belief, changing belief is something so hard to do. Very hard. Changing your belief is the hardest thing to do, yeah? Because you were given, you know, you were born for so many years. Now suddenly you have to have a different belief. How can you take that? But by starting on to do that is good for you. Yeah, believe in what? Believe in faith? If you believe too much in magical faith, miracle stuff, you're believing in too much, then you have to turn back and believe in logic. Okay? Go and turn back and believe in logical things. Yeah? Metaphysics is not supposed to just give you the magic part. For you to get the magic, it requires actions and current trend. Okay? The current trend, what is the current trend? What to do with this? Yeah? Like um, in Zun Zun Out of War, the fourth realm is the same thing like Zun Zun Out of War. The first, uh, the Zun Zun Out of War, the first chapter, the first thing that Zun Zun Out of War talk about is assessment of your conditions right now. This fourth realm represents your belief, right? And then represent the terrain that you are in, means that the path that you want to walk, the strategies that you want to walk. And then the, the third one is the actions. Where is it that actions will cause what kind of outcome? The fourth is represented by the gender itself. Um, it's actually the leadership of uh, that Suzana War. But in our category, it represents the result that you want to be on. Okay, because that leadership is something that a result that you truly wanted to happen. You lead yourself to that, right? Of course, in Zuzu Out of War, there's a fifth, which is the terrain, okay? Or the discipline that you need to put in, the regulations. So all this is just an alignment to you. When you use your chart, supposed to be like that, just take one action of it, one part of it, and your life will become a little bit different. I'm not going to say you become successful, but it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah? So if you're interested in not that kind of Zuzu Arapo, you can go and read it. Okay? Now, I'm also saying this year, hang got fractured. COVID, then wisdom removed. This particular month is going to be more dominant. So I'm going to encourage everybody uh, this month, stay low a little bit. If having any argument is happening, let them have argument. Don't you join the argument. Yeah. If you get too excited, maybe something will snap. Yeah. That's how you do predictions also. Okay. Now, thank you for everyone for joining this. So we are going to, I'm going to see you guys next week and we'll start step by step on uh, learning about Pazi. I hope this gives you the perspective of what Pazi is actually is. Yeah, since we are talking about actions, I'm going to give you like fully actions based, but um, I'm not traditional uh, type of practitioner. I'm going to tell you in element based. Even that this painting is basically an element base. Okay, now, so I'll see you guys next week and goodbye to every one of you. If you have any uh. If you guys have any questions, you can just put it in my telegram or here. Then I will actually reply to you guys. Okay? Now, see you guys. Goodbye.